Welcome everyone. So, what are integers? We start learning integers with the help of these colors. Now I ask you, how many colors you can see? Of course, you can see four colors. How do you know that? You counted the number of colors as one, two, three, four. So you see, we have used these numbers for counting. You use one, two, three, four while counting. So I can say that we use these numbers while counting. These numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and so on. These are the numbers which help us while counting. So look around you. You will find so many things and if you count them, if you count them, you will use these numbers. So these numbers help us while counting in our daily life. Now what I do is, next thing I will do is, I will put, I will put negative, negative sign to all these numbers and I will get this list. You see, I have put negative to 1, I have put negative to 2 and I have put negative sign to 3 and I will get a new list of numbers. This list of numbers is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7 and so on. This is a, this is a li new list of numbers. Now I have one more number which is very special number. You see, 0. Now what I will do next is, I will write all these numbers in a single list. You see, and I will get a new list of numbers as this. You see, I have written all these numbers in a single list. Now, how, how did I write, write this? I have written minus 1 here, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2. I have, write, I have written these negative numbers in opposite direction. So you see, minus 1, minus 2 minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on and I have written 0 here you see and I have written these numbers which are used by which are used while counting here you see 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 so now the question is what are integers so all these numbers are integers how did we get these numbers you see again I repeat these are the numbers which are used for which are used for counting these are 1 2 3 4 5 and so on and if i put negative sign to all these numbers then i will get a new list of numbers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and so on and i have one more number which is 0 and i have write i have written all these numbers in a single list so all these numbers now in the new list are integers now i can define what are integers as number 0 number 0 and numbers used for counting these are the numbers used for counting you see here and negative of numbers used for counting this is negative of numbers used for counting you see i have put negative sign to all these numbers which are used for counting okay and that's how we get integers now we will take few examples of integers or I can say that we will check so many numbers if they are integers or not you see the first number is 0 you see we have 0 in this list and we know that all these numbers are integer so 0 is also an integer we take it right it means this is an integer you see 5 5 is used for counting this number is used while counting so this is also an integer now you see 67 
This number is also used while counting. If you count as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on, you will get this number. You will get this number. So this is used in counting. So this is an integer number. Now we see minus 8. You see this is minus 8. This is the negative of the number which is used for counting. You see minus 8. You see now it is only 8. This is a number which is used for counting. Now if I put negative sign to it, it becomes minus 8. And that's why it is an integer. Now you see 2.5. You can see that there is a point in this number and the numbers with the point are not in the integers. So this is not a integer. Numbers with the point are not integers. You must remember this. The new number is 8 by 7. Oh sorry I have crossed it. This is not a integer. You see. This is not an integer. I have crossed it. Now a new number is 8 by 7. This number is not included in integers. So it is not a integer. You, you don't use it while counting. You don't say 8 by 7 while counting. So this is not a integer. And we also don't use 2.5 while counting. You don't say 1, 2, 2.5, 3. We say 1, 2, 3 and we don't use this number. So these two numbers are not integers. Now we see minus 90. You, you put your finger here. We see only 90. 90 is used while counting. Okay. Now what I have done is I have put negative sign to it. So it becomes minus 90. And we know that negative of the number which is used for counting is an integer. So it is an integer number. Now we take one more example, minus 9.8, since it has point in it, this is not a integer. Now you see minus 98, this is an integer, why? Because this is a number which is used for counting and it is, it ha now we have put negative to this number, this is an integer. Now again we see 9.8, it has point in it. So this is not an integer. Now we see 56,580. This is a large number. Okay. But you see if you count continuously, if you keep counting continuously, then you will, you will find this number while counting. So this number is used while counting. So this is an integer. Now you see minus 0.5. Again this number contains a point in it. So it is not an integer. Again you see a point is it. A point is there in it. So this is not a integer. Now you see 50. 50 is used while counting. So this is a integer. Now you see minus 8000. If I hide it. If I hide this minus sign. Now you see 8000. 8000 is used while counting and we have put negative sign to this number so we know and we know that negative of number which are used for counting is an integer so this is an integer i hope you have understood integers you can also learn what are whole numbers and what are natural numbers in my other videos at skill asc channel thanks for watching